Today we're going to do the bullion knot, which is number 46 if you're doing Stitching Society. The important thing that you must know is that you need a Milner's size one needle. The reason you want that needle is because if you look at it, it is the same width pretty much all the way down the shaft and the eye is the same width as the body. And you really, really need that because we're going to be wrapping stitches around the needle. So one of the things that I do to remind myself how to do this stitch is I always think of it as a back stitch because I come up in the fabric and then I go back one, put my needle down in and come up again very close to where the thread came out at the very beginning. Now I'm going to wrap, and the number of times that you wrap makes a difference as to whether your stitch is going to lay flat or whether it's going to stick out a little. So if you want a dimensional stitch, you're gonna wrap more. But we'll stop here. So now I am going to kind of hang on to these stitches as I pull the needle through. It's a little bit of a tricky stitch. So now I'm going to let go and I'm going to bring it back toward me. Now you can see there's one last stitch that sort of wants to hang out there and I'm going to try and get it over all of those little loops as I pull gently. And there I've got a bullion knot. So now I'm going to go down in here I'm gonna come up further out. And once again, I'm gonna do a back stitch. Can you see how my stitches are sticking up a little? That's because I wrapped more times than I needed to to make it lay flat. So you're gonna to have to play with that when you do it yourself. So here we go. I'm gonna go in again, very close to where my last stitch ended. I'm gonna stick the needle through and I'm going to wrap a whole bunch of times. Stick them down a little bit, keep wrapping. Okay, now I keep tension on that bottom thread because I don't want those stitches to all become very loose. And I'm going to hang on to those loops as I pull through. And now I'm going to bring it back towards me and make sure that that long loose one comes down toward closest to me. And now I'm gonna pull. And you can use the tip of your needle to adjust those loops if you need to. There's another bullion knot. We'll do one more. So you can do them in a row if you want, but if you're doing flourish, you'll notice that I did them at the tips of the lilies and later on, I did them at the bottom of the, what were they? The fuchsias. They look really cute at the ends of the fuchsias. So there's lots of ways that you can use them. So we're gonna just do a bunch. I, when I'm doing it and not demoing, I count how many times I wrap so that each time I can be consistent with my wrapping but right now I'm just wrapping randomly and whatever, whatever I get, I get. It helps to have fingernails to hang on to them. But there you go. So that's the bullion knot. And you can see they're really fun in variegated thread too.